These are a few of my favourite things. Uh, Manchester is the UNESCO City of Literature now and we run an incredible literature festival. So come in the time of the Literature Festival and see world-class writers and poets and novelists and journalists and the lot, children's writers, the absolute lot here in Manchester. We've got a long history of literature here in Manchester. The, 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 the Poet Laureate for, for um, uh, England is uh, based in Manchester. The Chancellor of the University of Manchester is a poet. The Chancellor of Salford University is a poet. Uh, we're, we're getting a brand new poetry library here at uh, Manchester Met. This is a city of literature. See a poet at any of the venues here in Manchester um, and, 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 and widen your world. You'll also find poems on the sides of buildings. Some incredible poets here. Why not have a go at the uh, Heritage and History Tour uh, at the University of Manchester? And one of the great things about that Heritage and History Tour is that um, it tells you why Manchester is the incredible place it is now because of its history. Um, the Industrial Revolution, for example, happened because of the rain in Manchester. The rain is what powered the mills, is what powered the Industrial Revolution. Seeing beneath the skin of contemporary Manchester, you know, seeing the, um, the strata uh, in the rock of Manchester and, and feeling that history actually will make you closer to the city and it's an incredible tour it's run by a guy called dr james hopkins at the university of manchester we have a space station here in manchester it's called jodrell bank i think it's the largest in the country they run the blue dot festival go to the blue dot festival but not only that why not go to the uh, jodrell bank and spend uh, an evening with your partner with a friend with your children watching the stars. They curate very particular events for families, for couple, couples to, uh, um, to eat food and, and see the stars. Um, it's quite, quite an incredible experience. Uh, Whitworth Gallery is a world-class gallery, award-winning, um, was run for years by a woman called Maria Balshaw, who went on to be the, um, the director of the Tate uh, in London after Whitworth. Uh, Manchester really is a touchstone, uh, touchstone, touchstone even, but a touchstone for the for the country. Uh, some incredible people come from here. Contact Theatre, brilliant, uh, radical uh, youth theatre um, at the top of its game. To be honest, the Royal Exchange Theatre. Try that. I did a gig uh, at the Apollo on my birthday last year. Uh, and it's just been around for so long that if you know any bands that are playing at the Apollo, try and go and see them. Try the canals. The canals have all been kind of, um, all been done up uh, in Manchester. Uh, try, try just a simple walk through the canals and find a different Manchester in those canals. Chinatown. I, I love Chinatown. I went last night. Um, I'm not going to mention any restaurants because I, I don't want to put one over the other, but uh, try the back streets of Chinatown and, uh, and look for where the Chinese eat. Uh, and um, it's just the best food in Chinatown. There's also now in Manchester, which for me is really inspiring, is there's a Ethiopian restaurant. Well, Rush Home then, you know, these are main arteries of cultural Manchester, but Rush Home for food. For food, Chinatown, Rush Home. Chinatown, obviously Chinese food. Rush Home, Middle Eastern food, uh, food from Pakistan, uh, food from India, um, Afghanistan, top notch.